A group of more than 50 students and teachers from Kamehameha High School in Hawaii were welcomed to Fakata Māori this morning. They are here in Tamaki Makoto to perform at this year's Pacifica Festival being held at Western Springs Park starting tomorrow. For many of the students, it's their first time visiting Aotearoa. Maria Haimonariki spoke with some of our guests. I'm joined here by Clark Tsuitele, music teacher at Kamehameha Schools Maui. Tēnā koe, no mai hara mai ki Aotearoa. Mahalo, thank you for having us here today. How excited are the students to be here in Aotearoa? I heard it's most of the first time. Very, very excited. Um, they've been working for months and months and, you know, since COVID we haven't travelled. This is our first international trip and for many of them, like you said, first time to New Zealand, so they're very, very excited. Yeah. And for whanau at home that are not too familiar with Kamehameha Schools, can you tell us a little bit of a brief history about Kamehameha Schools? Sure. Our school was founded by Bernice Pohi Bishop, who is the great-granddaughter of Kamehameha Ekahi, Kamehameha the Great, the first ruler that united the islands together. And um, in 1887, she started four Hawaiian children. You have to have Hawaiian blood to attend this school. Her belief was that she wanted to educate her people so that our language, our culture is never lost. And do you feel like that vision is being fulfilled today? Slowly but surely, for sure, yeah. And it's uh, trips, huaka'i is what we say, huaka'i like these, to other countries where our kids get to feel the love that our cousins of the Pacific here in Aotearoa have um, for their own culture. And they leave this trip wanting to become more Hawaiian themselves. And the group is performing um, at Pacifica this weekend. For those that go down and watch you or the group perform, what can they expect? Is it mostly hula, kahiko? Great, great question. So our, our group, uh, really the vision of our group is to perpetuate Hawaiian culture through dance and through song and through oli. We do have dancers, we do have kahiko numbers, we have awana numbers, we have choral numbers, we have reggae numbers, we, we do a, a wide range of uh, different genres um, and we're super, super excited to be at Pacifica. Beautiful. Speaking of students, we're going to get a couple of the students in now. Tēnā koe, thank you so much for your time, Clark. Kia ora, no mai, kuhu mai, kuhu mai. Firstly, tell us uh, who you are and where you're from. I'm Keokilani Cashman, I'm a junior at Kamehameha Schools and I'm from Maui. And I am Dawson Dudua, I am 18 years old and I am a senior at Kamehameha Schools Maui. What does it mean to you to be able to attend Kamehameha Schools Maui? I think for me it's so awesome and I'm so blessed to have the opportunities that Kamehameha has given me. I'm able to travel to places like this where I'm able to learn about other people and to be able to communicate with other people and learn about their culture. I've been in this school my whole life and um, I, so I pretty much grew up in a private school. I haven't been around um, much public school um, but it's like like she said it's a, it's a blessing to be um, to be able to call myself a student of Kamehameha Schools Maui um, there's a lot of things that we learned throughout the years of our um, lives there and and I can tell from my past self like to now that I have I really have changed a lot Maori order but the real question is who has a better football team Kahuku or Kamehameha <laughs> oh, man, I'm, I'm sorry, but I got to go with the Red Raiders, dude. I agree. Good answer. Good answer. Now, my kids will probably end up going to Kamehameha or Kahuku or maybe Punahou, depending on who has the best uh, football team. Well, tēnā kōrua, thank you so much for your time and all the best for your performance on the weekend. Right. Thank, thank you. you.